Captain America Annual Number 1 is one of the most incredible books I've ever read in my life, and not for a good reason. It is a ultimate paint-by-numbers for SJWs. You can't get more Alana Smith than this book. And by the way, she was the assistant editor on this, obviously, as we'll see. But you can't get more than this. The Milkshake World Order, this is the m, -m, -m milkshake World Order. This is the most m, -m milkshake World Order book that you could produce. You can't produce anything else more than this. This is it. This is the ultimate, ultimate one. All right, so Captain America, I love Captain America. I'm dropping every Captain America book. I've already dropped the annual, uh, sorry, I've already dropped the regular series written by our friend Tana Hisi Coates because it's just not good. And I'm now dropping uh, like tie-ins and because I was just going to do tie-ins and annuals and stuff. And now I'm just like, forget it. Anything Captain America, I don't even care about. I don't want it. So, because here's the thing. So Captain America is the personification of America. Regardless of whether you want to like it or not, it, it, it's what it is. I was an immigrant to this country. I became a citizen. And to me, uh, Captain America was always kind of this personification of what makes America great. And don't let these communists in this country fool you in these kind of uh, reactionary, um, oh, what is it? I forgot the word. When you don't like something, you know, counterintuitiveness. Uh, don't let them fool you. The rest of the world does look up to America, regardless of what they want. Oh, well, oh the rest of the world hates America. They don't. It's, that's flat out not true. So America is the lifeblood of the world. It's just, it's just what it is. It's one of the most powerful nations in the world and one of the most stable nations in the world. Regardless of what you want to think, it really is. So, this Captain America annual, which I bought, it's written by Teeny Howard. Okay. The uh, pencils uh, by Lim are, are, are they're good. I, I actually did enjoy the art. The art was fine, in my opinion. But, so we start off, this takes place in, the, in 1944. Alright, so it's the fall of the Third Reich. And Captain America is going at, and Bucky are going after, are going after Nazis. So we have this female who I thought was black at first. And I was like, why do they have a black woman who's holding a, who's holding a German, what is it, a Luger or a Ruger? But she's holding a p German pistol. And I was like, she's not black. She can't be black. There's no way they're going to put a black woman in this book. And then in, my, in the back of my mind, I thought, they, they hint at everything. And in the back of my mind, I thought, she's probably a gypsy. She's probably Romani. Like, that's probably what they're going to do with this. Anyway, we'll see. But anyway. So they go, they follow her because she, they realize that she's not a Nazi. And then they go here. And so then the, we get three, uh, three survivors. Anyway, we get three survivors and uh, what's it called? He asks for their names. And one of them has a mad Russian name. But they all speak German. So in my mind, I was like, wait a second. Why does he have a Russian ass name? But he's German. Oh, oh my God. Guess what? Boom. Iskra, she is Jewish. My parents moved to Germany before I was born to, if you can believe it, escape, escape religious persecution. So they try to escape religious persecution, which is interesting because let us not forget that the communists were the ones killing everybody. <laughs> they were the one, they were promoting secular, secularism, regardless of where you fall in the secular versus religious debate. I really don't give a shit. But the fact of the matter is the communists are secular and they were trying to, they were trying to expel all the Catholics. They were trying to expel all the uh, Russian Orthodox and they were trying to expel all the Russian Jews. Regardless of what you want, this is, this is what happened, okay? And he's just like, what, are you Jewish? And he goes, no, I'm Soviet. Okay, so we have a communist who escaped the Russian Revolution because he's an atheist. You can't be a Soviet and religious. You can't be collectivist and religious at the same time. All right, so let's continue with this. Anyway, so he was sent with so he was sent with political prisoners to the concentration camp, which is not funny. This is a concentration camp. Concentration, concentration camps are not funny, guys. And uh, so they're talking, whatever, whatever, whatever. Here's here's the kicker. All right, he gets shot, and he's like. And Captain America's like, no, we gotta, you know, we'll be able to get you back to, to, the, to, the, to the fatherland or the motherland or whatever, to the Soviet Union. And he, he says, no, I can't. He goes, I'm on lists as a homosexual. Oh, of course you are. Of course you are. Yes. Let's get the fucking list out and let's fucking, write, like, let's start checking boxes off the list. So we have the Romani female. The strong, independent Romani female, who we're going to find out was experimented on and hates the patriarchy, which is amazing. We have the gay 
atheist so communist who, by the way, wants to go to America. He wants to live in Hollywood. What year is this? It's 1944. Ooh, we got to have a talk. We got to have a talk because he says he's on pink lists. We got to have a talk about a man named McCarthy and blacklists. Let's, 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 let's talk about this for a minute, all right? This might not be the best option for you right now. What does this say about, about, what the fuck is the name? Howard. What does this say about Howard? Does this say that Howard didn't do their research? I don't know. Maybe. Anyway. And he makes a bunch of references about how Captain America is a strong, handsome American man, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. It's bait. It's bait. It's bait. It's, it's bait. That's really what, that's what it comes down to. Anyway, so they, they're making their escape, okay? So this is, this is the best part. This is a great part, okay? So she's talking about how so she's from, she's Roma. Uh, she was being going to be used as a brood mare. Oh, she's going to be made as a baby making factory. Somebody, somebody has been watching The Handmaiden's Tale. Obviously. They're not, these people are not, these artists, no, the artists, I'm sorry, these writers are not original. They're not fucking original. What happened? That uh, Philip, J, uh, Philip K. Dick uh, series came out. Man in the High Castle came out. And then all of a sudden, Mark Wade wants to write some sort of like post-apocalyptic Nazi alternate universe shit, alternate history shit. It's obvious. These people have fucking Amazon Prime and Netflix accounts. They just watch it and they rewrite it for their comics. It's, it's so obvious this is what they're doing. Anyway. Uh, so then he goes, so this is great. Captain America goes, and are you also very strong like me? Are you kidding? Like any man would willingly give a woman the ability to overpower him. Oh my god! <laughs> of course, we have to throw in some patriarchy nonsense. We have to. We fucking have to. A woman is a factory to them. She can make supermen. And then this is the mwah, this is the mwah, best part. I never really wanted to have babies anyway. I like going dancing too much to stop ever again. All right. All right. I don't know what it is about. They're extremely anti-family. Like they like these 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 preferati at Marvel and DC are inherently anti-family, and it's why I think that they don't do really. It's why I think Fantastic Four isn't doing that well. It's why kind of these like family-oriented team books don't really do that well. It's because they don't know how to write them. They flat out just don't know how to write a family. I don't know if it's because of their family life. I don't know what it is. I don't know what damaged them. They are very very anti-family. God forbid that you as a woman decide that you want to have children. Holy shit. You know what a disservice you're doing to the female race? You know what? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? No. No. You are putting women back 3,000 years by leaving your career to raise or by taking or by, uh, what's it called? Uh, by being underhired. And taking a job that that you're you're, you're overqualified for, and deciding to raise your ch- for the because you want to have the schedule and decide to raise your children. God forbid you decide to do that. How dare you? Because don't you know that none of you should be having families? Don't you know that you have to be strong and you have to be out there by yourself? Don't you know that? Look at Heather on toes. Look how great she's doing. Their beta male boyfriend. Anyway. So uh, we we have we have our very generic. By the way, I love how Captain America will not fight the Japanese anymore. I swear to God, I remember seeing some old comics where he fought the Japanese. I think they called them Japs at a certain point. But God forbid that Captain America fight the Japanese now. No, it's got to be old Nazis all the time because you know. There was also another interesting uh, line here. Uh, oh, you know the wor- world. You know the war would be over soon. Wonder what your losing side monsters will do with your lives then. And obviously, in in the writer's mind, they were like. Ha <laughs> ha, you're the alt right now. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, sure, sure. Nobody's gonna read this, by the way. So, oh, oh, here you go. This is the bait. I would prefer to die in the, uh, in the arms of a handsome American man. And then Captain America goes, hey, I told you. Nobody's dying. Alright, so it's obvious because they try- they're, they're trying to play off of like people's pre- No one's prejudiced against. I don't think anybody's really actually prejudiced against homosexuals, to be honest. Like only only the massively uneducated really are because people are afraid of what of what they don't know. So you know, like it's kind of I feel like everybody now kind of has this more like live and let live type deal. And the only reason that 
kind of these SGWs are bothering people is because they're actively trying to censor people. That's really the issue here. You're actively trying to censor people who don't want to be censored. Like, you guys can talk about whatever you want. You guys can make your own comics and shit. But you're, you've co-opted, you've completely co-opted Captain America. This is absolutely ridiculous at this point. Anyway, so the Nazis come again. I think it's Dum Dum. He shows up. And so he rescues everybody. And then we get... Oh, the art's cute. Oh, it's Gira Hero, of course. By the way, Gira Hero is two female, uh, two Japanese female women. A very good artist. We got, we got a really cool page here. And we have some nonsense over here that I read that was fucking bullshit. Uh, it's basically about how uh, this is based on her life or, or her ancestor's life or some shit. Really cool art. Alex Ross fucking cover, man. What a waste. What a fucking waste. So yeah, this book was incredible. This is literally the ultimate. This is the ultimate book that these SGWs could put out. You can't put out a more SJW book than this. You can't. It's impossible. I implore you to try to do it and watch them do it. Watch them fucking do it. somehow do it. It was amazing. Gay communist atheist who wants to live in Hollywood. Uh, the, the, the gypsy uh, patriarchy fighter, fighting feminist. The, the Jewish woman who they kind of like just, they didn't have any ideas for her. So they just kind of uh, <laughs> didn't do anything with her. But anyway, it was fucking amazing. Amazing. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me at Trajan Channel on Twitter. I'm no longer buying any more Captain America. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. It's a nice cover, though. I like the cover.